Hi and welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host Alejandro Hoyos and today we have a special edition for you guys. We're going to be talking about Intel Arc, also known as Battle Mage, and it's going to be amazing. There's a lot of things to know and with us we have Tap. Hey, hey Tap. Hey Alex, how you doing? Doing great, and you? I'm doing fantastic. It's Battle Mage time. I know. It's <laughs> so exciting, you know, been waiting for this for such a long time. I know. And one of the things that we're going to be covering today right here right now is this new XESS2. Yes, XESS2 is a super exciting technology. It combines super resolution with frame generation to dramatically improve performance for games. As a matter of fact, Alex, when you're using XESS2, you're only going to see rendering of one pixel and AI is going to generate seven more. So one out of eight pixels is raster and seven out of eight is AI. I can only imagine how, how more efficient and quick you can do that. It's way more efficient. You can get way higher performance and it's crazy tech. So why don't we dig into it? I'll give you a little sense of what we did. Sure. Let's go. All right, so this is a chart that kind of shows you our options as engineers, right? Mm -hmm. We can we can either do a traditional algorithm, which is kind of this bottom thing where you're looking at doing shaders and traditional calculations, or you can embrace AI, and that's what these algorithms are on the top. These are all AI-based algorithms, and you either have another choice of you can either be game integrated, where you're using lots of information, or you can be just driver-based. When right. we think about those trade-offs, it's a little bit harder to do game integration, and it's a little bit harder to do AI, but you get much better results, and that's that's where XESS2 is. It's AI-based game integration generation. Okay, that makes sense. So okay. A little bit more on the AI side. Yeah, so if we dig into what that looks like, start with what's the benefit of doing an AI-based application. Mm -hmm. This is showing you before and after when we're looking at just super resolution. An early version of XCSS is on the left, and later, this is a later version after we completed our training, it got way better. And the only thing that we changed was we gave the model more data. So one of the best things about AI is as you increase your data set, your algorithms automatically get better. They get better, it gets you know, better resolution. Better so. results, and you don't have to have engineers that are redoing a bunch of stuff, right? So it makes a big difference. Yeah, it's time and time and money. Yeah, of course. Now this is XESS2. It adds three things together that are required by game integration. Mm -hmm. It starts with XESS super resolution, which is that spatial upscaler technology that we've had in the past. Right. It also includes XESS frame gen, which is our, you know, we're now synthesizing a frame between between two others. I'll talk about that in a minute. And it includes XELL, which is our low latency technology. Now we just got done with the video. I would say if anybody wants to check it out, it's going to be on the same site, right? Correct. It's going to be there. So if you guys want to check and learn more about low latency, uh, just check out Intel Technology and YouTube. It should be right there with us, and we're going to be talking again. So. <laughs> All right, so let's dig into XCSS SR. And this picture is a pretty good animation. It's got depth and motion vectors and a low res uh, image that comes in. AI looks at all that stuff and synthesizes the high res, uh, high res image. And that improves performance dramatically because you're rendering at a low resolution, which is the expensive part. And you're using AI to kind of generate your image, all of our systolic XMX engines, and you get much better performance. Yes. And very high quality. And you can look at the chart here, right? It's telling you across all these different games, uh, we're seeing like up to 50% or more scaling. It's crazy. Yeah, and this is on our latest, uh, this is on Battle Mage. Yeah, Battle Mage. And it's basically free performance because the visual quality is nearly identical to a native high res render. Now, if you take XCSS, we continue to improve it. Mm -hmm. So just XCSS SR, we've added DX11 and support for Vulkan. So now you'll see it across even more games. That's great. I mean, the more games we can use this, the better. Yeah, I mean, engineers are busy. They just, engineers are going to do stuff. You don't even <laughs> ask them. It's great. All right, so now digging forward, we're going into XCSS FG. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the new technology where we're actually generating a frame between two prior rendered frames. And I love it. It basically says take full resolution images and motion vectors and depth and put it into our, our dual AI engine and generate an interpolated frame. It's pretty cool. That is amazing because you're like, uh, future and past. past. And what should be in the middle? You're asking AI what should be in the middle. Now, the way we do it is we actually use two different types of AI networks. The first one I call optical flow reprojection. Mm -hmm. And what that guy's job is to look at a prior frame and an X frame and maybe a couple others, and you're going to try to predict where pixels are moving on the screen. Because if you knew where pixels, individual pixels are moving, then you could say, hey, the new frame is halfway in the middle. Right, so if you knew the right optical flow, you can kind of get a good guess of the middle frame. The other thing we do is we're taking in motion, motion vectors and depth, and we're using the same idea, where should objects move, and maybe we get a different estimate based on motion vectors. So the idea of that third network, the blend, is to say, I've got multiple candidates for the color of this pixel based on different algorithms that I've run. 
AI gets trained for which one to pick given the outputs of the intermediary stuff. So we've got two AI networks that are working together to get the best answer for the interpolated frame. Right, and like we said earlier, it doesn't only get better because you already have the models so and you just need more data. More data, more data is gonna get better over time. It's like fine wine, Alex, yeah. fine wine. <laughs> All right, so here's that algorithm I said in action, right? We're taking motion vectors, high-res frame in, and we're synthesizing the frame using those dual networks, and then that frame gets inserted into the series of frames that's going on the screen and we pace it so that the animation is smooth. It's a very neat technology. It is, it is, it's, I mean, it's smart. It is it's really, it's smart. brilliant. Hey, engineers, man. It's good <laughs> stuff. Okay, so how do we think about this technology? Well, in this example, this is F1 2024, mm -hmm. on the left, we're running the native render at around 54 frames per second. Right. In the middle is XCSS, which is our traditional upscaler technology. That doubles performance in F124. But it really gets crazy when we get to the frame gen. And now we're at 150 frames per second, up from 50 frames. So we've tripled performance given to the end user. That is incredible. Like you can go just three just by implementing this new access. I know. And we, we've said for years that AI is changing every industry. It's changing, you know, computer science. And it's definitely changing uh, gaming for sure. Yeah, definitely revolutionizing a lot of things. And I think that's it. That's everything on XCSS FG. I'm pretty excited. Our engineers have done a fantastic job, and it's going to be available with Battle Mage launch. Awesome. I can't wait to have Battle Mage. And for you guys, thank you so much for watching us. We had a great time. Hopefully, you learn a lot. Uh, in the channel, there's a lot more videos related to Battle Mage and other things, uh, art graphics. So stay with us. Tap. Thank you very much. You're welcome.